Hello, guys. It is I, the craziest of cathedrals. And you may be wondering what the heck I'm doing on MS Paint of all places. Well, I have gotten a big number of followers on the YT, if you know what I mean. I now have 50 subs. Actually, at the time of recording this, I actually have 54 subs, but you, you get the idea. 50 subs, it's, a little, it's pretty great. And honestly, I've been trying really hard to hit, like, an actual number for years. So this is pretty special to me. And I'm super happy. And thank you guys for sticking with me this long whether you've been a long-term subscriber or someone who just exists in the background well thank you thank you a thousand times okay so basically i am going to do for this video a d row moy life Draw my live. And it's going. And yeah, that'll be my special. It's gonna be amazing. Gu I guarantee it. Don't look at me like that. This is going to be great. I don't think I've really revealed my entire story on YouTube before. I may have, like, given snippets of it on Discord, but this is YouTube. So. There I was, being a normal kid, having a normal life, you know, like the good old days. But then, something happened. I pressed a button on a, not a typical controller, but Waggletech on a Wiimote. What sorcery is this? That's, that's not how it looks, but you get the idea. Yeah, back in the day, I had an original Wii. And I played it so hard, it was I think it was starting to break. Actually, it did break at some point, but I don't think that was me. And, and on my TV, I was playing some good old Super Mario World. You know, if you... I've always been a fan of retro games, but we had the virtual console for this game, and it was awesome. And I absolutely played this game to death. And by to death, I mean I just walked around in the overworld. No joke, that's how I spent my time. And so... Oh, give me a second. I obtained what is known as... A, wait, hold on. I obtained what is known as a cellular device from my parents. I, I This wasn't mine. I was just granted it for the time being. This, this isn't what it looks like. I think it was some sort of Samsung at the time. Am. Sa. Sug. Yeah, it was that company. And with it. I recorded my first ever YouTube video, which was just a Yoshi plush dancing around as if he was on the overworld. And that was my only plush at the time for Mario. That looks like a pea shooter, whatever. But while it, while it wasn't the greatest video, it was, I think the video format was was freaking wait hold on it was 3gp which is aud awful audio quality and like fifth and you and 15 frames per second i think somewhere on there it was it was terrible and it was square it was a square not a not widescreen like you see right now while this was one of the worst videos i've ever made 
and probably one of the cringiest. I don't know, I don't remember that video too well. It set the groundwork for the evolution of my channel. I just kept making these... I just kept making these random videos of just my plushes pretending to be in Super Mario Overworld, whether it be the Yoshi plush I mentioned earlier, or this soup or this Mario figurine I had. Yes, a figurine, not a plush. And it was a fire Mario as well. I still have that figure. I would show it, but yeah, I don't I'm not gonna do that. And I also sang some cringy music to it that is so embarrassing, I'm not going to show you. And also, I don't have the video right now. So, eventually, I just kept making this stuff. I slowly drift away from videos, only to come back. And I recorded this guy. This was after I actually started my plush collection, and this guy came along as one of my birthday presents. His name was Drybones, and he's one of my favorite plushes to date. Yeah, he looks like that. And I recorded a short of dry bones climbing this pole we had in the middle of our of our living room if you question it it was supposed to be for exercise like climbing up and down the pole is actual exercise but our parents had it and and dry bones climbed it and yeah it was a pretty bad video but there was still the groundwork for something special then I created, well then, I created a bit more of these dry bone skits. And then I started to branch out into other series completely with new characters and such. And I created a show that was, I don't remember, but sadly I've, I've lost the video. This, this was actually starting, was when my video started, were starting to get good, even if it even if the video format was still 3GP. And... And I created a series of a black... You know, it was a yellow car, but whatever. A black car who protects this area known as the best road ever, which was the name of the series. The best... road... ever... And again, these weren't actually, these weren't actual plushes. The, the best road ever itself was like this kind of playset where you build it together, but not like Legos. All, all the pieces are molded together all, already. You just have to figure out which way to, they go. Yeah, it's not like Legos. It's, it's kind, of, kind of like Legos in the way you build it, but they're, they don't look like or act like Legos at all. And the the black car, yellow car character, which I think was called like, I, I don't know, but the driver was called the Invisible Man, and they protect it from the Evil Storm, which was a Marvel character who I some for some reason had a figure of driving a bike or something, or like a motorcycle. It, it was, it was, really it's really weird sounding but i still like this this series it, it was pretty good i i still wish i had had it and during the video i i made these little intros to explain what the series was and in it i said best filmers presents the best road ever, bum bum bum, or something like that. And that's when I came up with my first ever YouTube name. Best Filmers. I spelled that right. 
If you tell me otherwise, this is actually how I spelled it back in the day because I didn't know filmers only had one L. So, this was the name, Best Filmers. And we kept making these little mini-series of stuff like Mario Party ripoffs and things that I'm not even going to draw because I don't remember that well. I made a couple more dry bone skits. No joke, we made one with a gummy worm. That was pretty great. And for around half of these best filmer skits, I, I made them with my sister, who I'm going to reveal now, is Lunar Skies. Lunar Skies used to make these, these videos, or like half the videos with me, and yeah, it was fun. It was like some nice family bonding time. All the previous videos I've mentioned were never ever uploaded to YouTube because one, 3GP, <laughs> terrible format, and two, they, they seriously revealed some personal information, so, like faces and stuff, and names, and even some cringy stuff in it. Like other family members coming into the room interrupting the recording, but and I didn't know how to chop it all together at the time. And so I eventually drew away from Best Filmers as a whole. And so I went on a camp out with like a bunch of the people in the neighborhood. Because, why the heck not? I think it was called the Father and Sons Campout. And there, I met a good friend of mine. 